Earl open H1. It's all good. Roy H1. Stop H2. Roy H2. Track. Dissolve. You can do your CG. Two. Ten seconds, 25 miles wide back to VO. Here it comes. Mike Q. 1 OTS right Earl. The boxes with Schaefer and BK in them. 1 OTS right. Turns closer to Maryland. Dissolve. Good evening. Boxes Mike the 2 and frame 4. It's all good. You got time. Switch them, dude. They're backwards. Good job. Ready your boxes? He's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. Stand by your red map. Roll your red. Take. Good job, dude. H3 live to frame 4. Roy H3. Take. Frame 4. Dissolve it. Yeah, Kelly, that was and you can do his name. Awesome. Good Angus job, Brett. <laughs> Package H1. It looked like Brian was looking up into the <laughs> sunset. Package H1. And they have come out in force. I counted 25 just now. And those are just the ones I can see. There are a lot of surfers you can change who are on these big waves that are being spawned by Hurricane Earl still far out in the Atlantic. A lot of fun for those people. Much more stressful Package H1. for the people here in Ocean City who have to plan for Hurricane Earl. Which one? Track. Check. 58 seconds, rest of us. Turn, keeping it away from the Maryland coast. I got a lieutenant However, coming up at 11. And she back to Schaefer Hill tag and standard out. You can mad that dude. Loose. Change. I got a Mayor Rick at 28. To make sure everyone was prepared for the potential for tropical storm force winds, flooding, here comes the mayor, Rick. And blowing debris. The game plan is Matt. just get the word out. Sounds uh, like they just right by the generator. <laughs> Loose. Chad. I got a Joseph at 51. Convention scheduled for Ocean City this week. Bet you back to Schaefer. He'll tag and standard out. Then H2 Earl open the camera one, Mr. Wyatt. are expected to calm down by Friday afternoon, but the rip currents still will remain swimming. Has been restricted, likely through Saturday. Here comes Theo. Matt. Five left. Lose. Rest of the world back to Schaefer. Take my cue. Yeah, that was the other focus of the meeting this afternoon. What to do after Hurricane Earl leaves, how to clean up quickly. As you can you see, can out there, the waves really crashing in right now. A lot H2 of Earl open to camera one Wyatt. You're next, my brother. They brought their binoculars and their cameras. And they're just taking a look at the uh, surf that Hurricane <laughs> Earl is kicking up here. It really is quite an impressive sight to see. Tomorrow, they're expecting the height of the storm, the highest winds, to be around 8 o'clock in the morning. H2 Maybe Earl, camera one Wyatt. Five to about 1 in the afternoon. After that, it's expected to get pretty nice out here in Ocean City. Not uh, expecting a whole lot of Labor Day visitors to hurry down here for Friday because when that uh, high wind is going, boy, he's been I told to wrap, uh, wrap stand by, dude. Even a raindrop at 30, 40 miles an hour it doesn't feel too good, and neither does uh, sand, and that's all going to be kicking up tomorrow morning. So we're not expecting a very busy morning on the beach, however. Once by. it gets through Friday afternoon into Saturday, they are expecting a full and busy Labor Day stand holiday two. weekend. We're live in Ocean City, Christian Schaefer, ABC 2 News. Voice 2, take. Mike DeWyatt. Thank you, sir. You Camera one. Thank you so much, Kirsten. Up you can do his name. Stand by your weather one. Probably a six, seven foot wave at least coming in there at the inlet. Let's take a look Dissolve. at the latest. All right, back to Mr. Wyatt. Then an H3 continuing coverage to a two close up. And then boxes with camera two and frame four. Rings beginning to slide past Ocean City. The bulk of the storm now beginning to push its way And this should be Mr. Disco. But it is making a slight turn to the north. Awesome. Still packing he winds to 115 jet. miles per hour. Different perspective here. A radar view on Maryland's most powerful radar. You can see uh, the center of the storm still about 200 miles off the Carolina coast. The center of the storm still about 375 miles southeast One minute. of One. Ocean City. So that's really what we're looking at. And yeah, it never happens to Becky. I've high above, proper, we just had a ground report there, ocean side. But uh, you can just see these waves growing through the afternoon. And the uh, sky is darkening a bit as Earl makes its approach from the south. Again, still... Uh, just under 400 miles away, the center of the storm at least, but no, we expect Kelly it to get be. much closer than that by midday tomorrow. That'll that be sort of correct. the peak uh, time. 78 degrees in Ocean City, gusting to 20 right now. The next two days, if your travel plans take you down to any of the beaches, camera two Maryland, swooping, you stay on two for boxes. Uh, good weather wise after tomorrow, but the surf will be up. 10 Ooh. footers tomorrow, and still four to six foot waves and dangerous rip currents out there Saturday. Probably not 
Uh, that's safe of a swim until we get into Sunday and Labor Day and Monday. Just all. Stand on page three. Mike Swooby. All right. Take. Okay. Two close up. Just all. Stand with your boxes. City? Cam two, ABC frame two four. Here, Take your boxes. Open frame four. Frame four. Wit. Tag. He's got a package H1. Bet you camera one for you, camera one. See if his photo talk can zoom out some on his ass, too. Roy H1. Track. Tag. 53 seconds. Didn't have to worry. I got a Walter at 49. Bet you back to Disco Hill, tag and standard out. Then a 1 OTS right Earl, live H2 to microwave 2 BK. Little kids learn that high winds make bubbles travel farther. Meet Walter Williams. That is disgusting. I'm not afraid of it. I've been through here. I've never had no problem. Lose. Walter's been down here for 30 years and has seen it all. He carries pictures around of hurricanes that did a lot more damage than it looks like Earl will do. 15. Walter also didn't have to worry as an infantry man under General Patton. He hasn't felt the effects of Earl yet. He views this hurricane like his old war days. Five didn't have to worry if it's on the dude will dissolve. Here it comes. Will dissolve. Dissolve. Mike Q. Well, Walter was quite a character, and I can tell you no shot. One right, Earl on the yet, Kelly. But Earl is loading up. We'll see what kind of ammo he brings. Yes, you can thank so him. Then a live H2 to the microwave, too. Is she going to talk? She don't want her to. Go to camera two boxes so next for a little. Happens. Thank you. Now, I'm Don Harrison live in Ocean City. Take your boxes. Open, Swooby. One right, OTS right. One. Take. H2 live. Royce 2. Take. Microwave 2. Dissolve. <laughs> well, right now, Kelly, I can tell you both. You got a hot change. You can hit it. Really Package well, H3. Many people are struggling with whether or not to stay or go. Royce 3. Track. Take. All right, this was 123 out in the Atlantic. I have a guy and I have a girl. And you have a guy named first, so when we see a dude, we'll use it. Ray Corvado made his decision. He got he and his family off North Carolina's outer banks. Did Brian edit this or Lamont? Matt. It looks like Brian edited it. Lose. Change. Yeah, it sounds like it anyway. All right, back to the BK. He'll tag and standard out. Then an Earl open H1 to a 1 OTS right Earl. Then boxes cam to frame four. Burke. But others aren't so fortunate or cautious. So what I'm reading is we're gonna you can get Jen. Well, again, I care, but it's not going to impact my ability to have Lose. a good time. Change. 30 seconds out in the Atlantic. All right, Swoopy, you're going to be back on camera. One for an OTS and then two for your double box. One to two. As long as you're safe. About 15 out in the Atlantic. I'm presently not seeing anything from the CPO truck. Thanks, Jimmy. Five seconds away. out in the Atlantic. Right Here it comes. It stays out in the Atlantic. Tell me, Q. Maybe so, exactly All right, H1 Earl, Earl open to a 1 OTS right Earl, then boxes cam Still 2, frame 4. Reporting live on Ken Island this evening. You're Brian Kubler, ABC Mike Swoopy. Roy H1. Right, Tag. So 1 OTS so right. Dissolve. Stay in your boxes. Two. Take your boxes. Open frame 4. Frame 4. Clean. Justin, we had a live shot from North Carolina at 5 o'clock, and you could definitely tell the difference from the pictures there and the waves to what we're looking at in Ocean City tonight. Yeah, no doubt, Kelly. I'll tell Take. you, this is, we got on the air at 4 o'clock. All right, guys, two is next for the bump. Now. We're actually watching those waves go a little bit stronger now. Camera Check one on Mr. Here. Rosie. Yeah, this is where we get the, uh, Hopefully frame four Josie. And then camera one kiosk, uh, what's his name? But, uh, Josie's not up on the satellite here. yet. Uh, so we're going to get Josie or? This is a buoy offshore. You can see that that is 13 to 18. Now, uh, 12 foot, uh, Do me a favor. Can you get Rosie over to the H class, Timmy? 
and then get one on the two plays because I don't think Josie's going to make it. Thanks. So when he's done two medium for the bump, CG1 over camera three, Rosie. Then camera one. What's his name? Why? Online through abc2news.com, and of course, if you have the weather bug, uh, you can get that information as well. well Again, we we're, like we're looking at about 10 miles per hour. What about the bump? And we are expecting that to increase as we head on in through okay. tonight after dark. <laughs> and by daybreak tomorrow, uh, we do expect She's on the phone. the worst conditions here. Now it's roughly uh, 240 to 3 o'clock in the morning with high tide here. That is going to be of major interest when we're having that push out of the south. Does she have time for a question? Uh, with the tidal surge. And perhaps okay, maybe a storm sure surge of about three feet on top of 10 sorry, to 20 uh, foot waves. Wyatt, the closest pass of the storm so is expected to be somewhere between sunrise and no no in the morning. Thanks, dude. So we're not going to do it. No question. Cool. Two medium is next. So much different here. Perhaps over my shoulder you can see. Two medium to camera three, Rosie. Camera one, Wyatt. And then a break. going to be much, much higher. Uh, I will tell you, now that all these people are gathering, a lot of excitement. This dude's been talking for two minutes already. swells. <laughs> and some angry breakers come in and some really anxious surfers. Um, I was talking to one of the beach patrol earlier on, a very modest gentleman who 30. did not actually <laughs> want to give his name on camera. But I asked him if there were any rescues today. And he had this big grin on his face. And he said, you know, I had one. He was watching out there. There was two women with uh, one of their children just watching the waves. They were Did about knee deep. And all no. of a sudden, one of those big swells so. in the undertow actually took them we out. He one. said the young girl got had lost had in the whitewash. He dove in immediately, and he said it was a close call. What do you call. think it's he like living right with there. Justin? Would have been lost Never quiet. To see. So it's exciting for these people who are standing on dry <laughs> ground now and watching it. But it's He's been told to rap. out there, even for those surfers. One guy actually broke his board about a half hour ago. But uh, they'll probably be pushing it at least until uh, daylight is lost. And tomorrow, again, a different scene. We're expecting the waves crashing in through the parking lot of the inlet. We are expecting at least some minor erosion, uh, if Why not some flooding on the bay side as well. We're live in Ocean City. Back to you in the studio. Mike Swoopy. Right, thanks a lot. Text. Text. Oh, music. Fuck. Mike Rosie. Here's what's coming up after the break. Tech. You can well, fire you camera one, Mr. Wyatt. Will we visit I think he will go clean to him. By Hurricane Isabel. Mike Wyatt. Tech. Rosie, the hurricane hunters in Earl just a couple hours ago finding winds to 115. Hey, CPO's bores are up now. Thank you, Jimmy. Coast. We'll talk about what it will do to Maryland later on tonight. Roy Rigmaster, Bay Black. Awesome job, guys. <laughs>